Uh oh. Uh oh. Jim Van Hobby is here. I'm in trouble. Uh. Jim Van Hobby says, I heard a rant about our old naming system. Our old naming system, I guess, I mean, you still sell the props. Yeah, I did. I ranted about the the fact. I ranted about the fact that your 51499 prop or whatever, 51477, is not a 4.77 pitch as the name would suggest. And as everyone's website says, because they make the same assumption, that the 51477 prop is a 3.7 inch pitch, which I think is dumb that it was not named 5137. Like everyone would assume. I'm not going to redo the rant, but also if you look at every product page that sells this prop, they say 4.77 inch pitch because they assume the naming standard is the same as has always been. A gem fan hobby says they're going to give an explanation. I mean, you could try. I can tell you what they told me. <laughs> what they tell? Hang on a second. Blunty, Blunty says I can tell you what they told me. Go ahead, Blunty. Hang on, Blunty. Fan. Oh nope. Start over. Okay, we ranted about this on the news one time. And yeah. Jim Fan mentioned that all their new props have proper naming, or at least have yeah. names that don't imply the incorrect information. But yeah. the old props have iconic names that people understand already, even though they're the wrong sizes. So they I feel mean, like it's better to keep the old names so that people understand what they're buying instead of just yeah. deleting the old lines and then making oh, new no. props. Yeah, no, the 51477 is a good prop. Obviously, it's got my name on it. It's one of my favorite props. And I agree that you shouldn't just then like make a new prop called the 5137 and then everybody will be like is the same as the 47 what's the difference i think the the mistake was made years ago and now I, you, you were just stuck with it and if anything i would say maybe a bigger effort to get stores to update their product listings but like they're obviously gem fan isn't in charge of the stores but having done the thing i'm going to rant about it cuz i don't yes. think there's any good reason for having the question I would have would be, and maybe Jim fan is I'll check in the chat. Why did this ever happen? Because as far as I can remember the props, like the old HQ five, one, four, you know, 5140, right? It's a five or 50, 40, sorry. It's a 5.0 inch prop with a 4.0 inch pitch. As far as I can remember in the hobby, that's how props were named. Why did it ever get done this way? Jim Fan suggests it was a manufacturing naming system for organizing. As soon as Mike got in charge, they got to a new system that properly named the props. Good. So Good. I get the rock and the hard place they're in because they don't want to just delete the old line. They want to yeah. have the name recognition of the old line. But uh, a lot of people assume the wrong sizes. Like you said, I yeah. think the biggest issue is when you go to a manufacturer's page to buy the props, they say the wrong sizes. Yeah. So, so I yeah. mean, it sounds like Mike agrees with me that this is dumb and Mike yes. fixed it. That's great. I mean, that's 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 good to know. We're all on the same page. This is dumb. Right. It shouldn't be this way. But there's nothing you can do about it now. Because I agree, you're not going to like just throw out the five one four seven seven, which a lot of people fly, and you're not going to change the name now that everybody knows what it is. We just need to get the word out that it's not a four point seven inch pitch. I guess it's about education. Uh, the, he says the mold number was four six six. That's stupid. I mean, I understand why that makes sense from a manufacturing perspective. That doesn't make any sense from a customer perspective. This customer doesn't care what mold number it is. Anyway. All right, Jim Fan. Well, thanks for coming. And uh, thanks for agreeing with me that, that that naming convention is dumb. That's how I'm going to remember this conversation anyway. Uh, 